everyone, Valerie here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my weeks 35 and 36 pregnancy update. I am officially nine months pregnant and during week 35 I started my weight at 163.6 pounds and the last time I weighed myself in week 34 I was at 164.6 so that's about a pound, probably a little more than a pound gained over those two weeks. Um, I measured around my belly, all the way around like the biggest part, around the belly button, and at week 35 and still, I just measured um, my belly's at 42 inches around. I did have a doctor appointment during week 35. The doctor told me I was a little bit dehydrated and to drink more water, so I have been. And she also told me to rest when the contractions begin because I told her that one of those, I think it was the evening after my baby shower, I was very busy that day, on my feet the whole day, and then that evening I was having very regular contractions, like I had like four or five contractions within an hour, and she said that was a lot for being week 35, and that when that happens, it's usually because um, I've been very busy or on my feet all day, and um, to drink a big glass of water and lay down and see if it calms down, and it it did. Um, I've still been having contractions, and they're lasting a little bit longer. I've been timing them with an app. I forget the name of the app, but I'll put it in the description box below. It's just a free contraction timer app, and they've been occurring about a minute and a half on average, and. It, it, there's no um, consistency to how often they happen. Sometimes it happens hours in between, sometimes it's 30 minutes in between, but how long they've been lasting has been consistent and that's been on average about a minute and a half. So as you can imagine, with a 42 inch belly <laughs> and a big baby in there, it's been very hard to sleep. It's very hard for me to roll over from left side to right side or the other way because of the weight of my belly. Um, so getting up every two hours in the middle of the night to use the bathroom is a pain in the butt <laughs> and it happens every single night. Um, week 35 I did feel very slight and maybe only once or twice in the whole week like a little bit of itchiness on my belly but it hasn't been much at all. My feet are definitely still swollen. Good thing I always wear flip-flops or sandals because um, the only time I wear sneakers is to work out and they're just now starting to feel a little tight. So good thing I only have a couple more weeks left and I don't have to buy a larger size of sneaker. Uh, week 35 I was having, for some reason, occasional headaches. Uh, not bad headaches, but like a very dull headache that would kind of like come on and off throughout the day. And that happened maybe three days out of that week. I haven't noticed it during week 36, maybe just once or so, but I probably waited a little too long to eat, so I brought on a hunger headache. I've still been dealing with nasal congestion and dryness. And it's kind of weird because it'll go from being dry and congested to five minutes later being completely runny and it's just back and forth. But for the most part, I'm a little congested and my nose is very dry on the inside. Some days during week 35, I noticed that one day I would be very tired, like no energy, so I would rest that day and then the next day I would have energy so I would be able to do some things. But then the next day I would be like super exhausted as if I had done too much the day before. So it was like that back and forth during week 35. And week 36, it's been kind of the same, but I didn't notice like a, a daily flip-flop pattern like I did in week 35. I have been noticing these two weeks that when I'm going to bed at night, I will start to feel restless leg syndrome in either the right or left leg. In week 35, it was typically the right leg. And this last week it was pretty much the left leg and it's like almost every night before I'm going to bed like I just can't keep <laughs> that leg still I just have to like contract and stretch and it just feels like I have to move it it's weird 
Um, I did forget to mention that when I, when did, when did I have the ultrasound? I think I had the ultrasound in week 36. Yes, week 36, I'm getting there. And we went to the ultrasound and the baby would not show his face. We took the kids to the ultrasound with us thinking, you know, that'll be cool. They'll get to see the baby on the monitor and see him moving and his heart and all that. They did get to see his heart and, you know, his lungs and all of the organs and stuff, but he was facing backwards. His face was towards my back. So all we could see was the back of his head. <laughs> he wouldn't even let us see the side of his face, his nothing. So we got no profile or facial pictures at that ultrasound. We just saw the back of his head, his heart pumping. They got to hear his heart and his genital parts <laughs> showing that he's a boy. He's still a boy. Um, it's been very hard to walk. My hips hurt so bad. Um, I wobble as it is because I'm nine months pregnant and he feels very low and on top of that because my hips hurt very bad I limp so I wobble and I limp and it looks very funny. My son, one of my kids, every time he walks by me when we're like walking in the store or something and he's next to me he, he um, makes wobble noises <laughs> like he's making fun of me he goes wobble 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 so yeah i look like a penguin right about now and when i'm trying to get out of the bed i look like a big fat walrus trying to jump into the ocean and struggling <laughs> feet are still lips what oh clearly i can't speak my feet are still swollen and I've been experiencing dry lips in week 36. Also, dry nose has continued. During week 36, I think like Monday or Tuesday, the beginning of the week, it was very weird. Two nights in a row I had like bad dreams. It wasn't about the, the baby or the birth or anything like that. I don't know why, I just had bad dreams. And, and I also noticed too that in the end of week 35 and the beginning of week 36, Every two hours when I would get up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom, I would feel like someone or something in my imagination probably was like in the room. <laughs> so I would turn on the little nightlight that I have in the bathroom so I don't trip and fall or whatever. And then like I would peek around the bathroom door and look in my closet, which is like right in front of my bathroom. <laughs> it's so stupid, but... One of those nights, um, I went to use the bathroom and the bathroom door was a little bit open like this. So I went to push it closed and for some reason as I did that, <clears throat> I had this image of large red clown shoes peeking under the door like, I know what, I think I know what caused this. The day before or a couple days before I had, uh, I was watching YouTube with my husband and kids. And one of the ads that popped up on the video, and you couldn't click out of it, it was one of those that you couldn't skip the ad. It was the advertisement for the new movie, It. And that movie scared the crap out of me as a kid. So now I'm thinking that It, the clown, is in my freaking bathroom hiding behind the door. So I'm scared. And I look behind the door, and I'm thinking, like, big red shoes. I, I'm, I'm, I know nothing's there, but the fear for, like, a quick five seconds was still there until I was like, you're grown, this is stupid. <laughs> but yeah, so that's been happening. Hasn't been happening the past like five or six nights though, so I'm glad about that. Um, in week 36, I've noticed um, that I may not be tired the entire day, like in week 35, but after I get up and do a simple task, I'll be tired for like the next half of the, the half of the, like that, that day. So I know one of those days I got up and I took a shower, I washed my hair, I had to shave. So I, I had to shave my legs. So it was like very hard to like reach by my ankles and all that. So after that ordeal was done and I got out and I dried and I dressed, I was exhausted. <laughs> I took a shower and I, it wiped out all my energy. So I just laid down for like half of the day and then I got up and was able to do stuff again. But it's just crazy, and I'm hot all the time still. Sometimes the only thing that helps 
is um, having something cold like ice or popsicle because the AC is on like 73 or 74 which is cold in our house. We normally keep it around 70, between 76 and 78 when I'm not pregnant. So everyone's freezing. Then in my room I have the ceiling fan on high and another floor fan pointed right at me on high and I'm still hot. Clearly you guys can see I'm still very winded. Um, I've been talking probably for about 10 minutes straight now and I can hardly breathe. So that is all of my update for the past two weeks and I will see you probably for one more update in week 39. I'm officially 37 weeks today. So if I make it to week 39, you guys will have that update. I may just do an update at the end of week 37 and then another one, you know, in week 38. I might go a little like weekly, but then just combine the footage for two weeks from now. So you guys can see the final updates and the final belly and all of that. And I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow so you guys will hear about that in the next update and I will also be sharing a what's in my hospital bag for me and baby video soon so stay tuned for that and let's go ahead and take a look at my mountain <laughs> Alrighty guys, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. I'll see you in two weeks for the final update and probably in one week for the what's in my bag video for the hospital mommy and baby uh, items. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.